Hello and welcome to another red hot edition of Hollywood Extra with me, Rob Richards. Well, as you can see, once again, we are out the studio and in the heart of Hollywood here at Ritual Nightclub to take you behind the scenes of an exciting new catwalk show called Fash Art, brought to you by Savannah.com. What is Fash Art? Well, I've been told it takes influences from both the world of fashion and art. Makes sense, really. So why don't we go inside, catch up with some of the models, designers, and stylists that make this great event possible tonight. Let's go. Okay, so I managed to catch up with Lucky Luke here, who I have been told is one of the ambassadors for one of the clothing labels here on the stage tonight called Hard A. Lucky Luke, it's a pleasure to welcome you onto the show. I have to ask you, Lucky Luke, where does the name come from? Oh, it's way back from Africa. I'm an old surfer and I was just lucky with ladies and lucky with waves, so I became lucky. Laka, laka. This is a cracker. <laughs> we speak the same language. So, sir, tell me more about the clothing, the influencers. Well, the, 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 this uh, company is started by Victimus Rahi, and he started five years ago. And uh, he called it Hard Eight, like the rolling craps, because you've got an 8 to 1 chance of making it in this game if you're lucky. Okay, okay. See, we are a little bit lucky, we're still here. Anyhow, basically what we do is we have very special t-shirts, cottons, you know, all different types of boos and virgin cottons and African cottons, American cottons. And what we do is dip dye them, we wash them, we stud them, we put Swarovski crystals in, we snail head them, and they all designed by, you know, different artists, graphic artists. Yeah, let's hold it up for the camera. That's, uh, that's quite a design. Yeah, that's a griffin right there, and I'll show you the back. Right there. So it seems these are actual organic like yeah. clothing. All different types of things. We use mainly cottons. We do some burnouts, but uh, most of them are 100% cotton. Yeah. Those guys rock Ibiza all the time. They, and they're rocking hard aid all the time, man. I was a rock hard aid, man. Yeah, let's get your shirt off. Look at this. I got my poison on back too. You see, we got poison on the back too. Poison, there we go. Lucky and poison. That's, that's one of, our, that's one of our, uh, our lines, you know? And we have a big red door with a big H and a, and a big eight on it. You can't miss it. You can't miss us. You guys, oh, we love you guys. We love LA. Even though we go all over the world, LA is our city. We certainly love LA. I've got to ask, where, where can I get me one of these shirts? I like. I'm going to present you with one. One that uh, Leonardo DiCaprio actually bought as well. And that is uh, this one right here. That's what Leonardo DiCaprio bought, and uh, I want to present it to you, Rob. And I'm really, uh, I'm very honoured to have this. Well, I am, I am honoured here on Hollywood Extra to be wearing one of the hard eight clothing. I'm going to put this on right now, and I'll be rocking around your uh, your fashion event tonight. Happy, uh, to have a guy like you with a good physique like that, man, it's going to be a plus in our feather in our cap. Uh, with with and, pleasure. And I hope everybody will come down to Los Angeles and see the whole. Uh, you know, seen what's going on there. I'll tell you what, one time soon, uh, we'll come down with Hollywood Extra. We'll do a whole feature on the, the warehouse, the studio, how the clothes are made from start to finish, and then we'll get them out there, rocking them around the town of Hollywood. I love it. So Harley, influenced by digital music, created by love, made right here in Los Angeles. We don't get much tighter than that. Absolutely. Lucky, I'm gonna shake your hand. I'm gonna see you back in there, sir. There we go. So I've got my own limited edition top that Leonardo DiCaprio should be wearing. So I am feeling honored to be given this. I'm going to go put this on backstage and see if I can mingle in with some of the other models out in the event. So follow me. Let's go check out a little bit deeper into the event. to catch up with one of the stylists here at Fash Art. His name is Rene. Rene, very nice to meet you, sir. Uh, tell us a little bit more about some of the influencers that we can expect to see on the street next year. You know, I have to say right now, fashion is going into a world. It became a worldwide fashion. So now the coolest part is we're taking inspiration from, let's just say, Japan. 
being so messy, it's got a lot of edge. But then we go back to London, New York, where it's more smooth, it's very clean. It's got a cool, cool attitude, same as the clothes. We work with the designers, trying to see what they're doing. And then we're, all we're doing is just mimicking, but with hair, what they're doing with the texture. Let me ask. What are some of the new uh, colors or styles, trends we can see? Like, you know, I'm rocking a green hard eight t-shirt here. Yeah, we got know. some of the Swarovski uh, diamonds on there. What are some maybe tips or advice you can give people watching as to uh, little accessories they can add on to clothing that they've already got? I want to say one of the, the main colors that we're going to be seeing a lot on hair, they're violet, they're violet colors. They're very strong colors, but you're, gonna, you're not going to see a lot of the, the old highlights. The colors not sitting this way, now they're layers of color where it becomes more natural, but on the, on the same token, it's got that edge. So using purple, something that is not normally seen on the hair. There is loose, but it's got a lot of structure. And it's got bling bling, which is the same bling bling. Yes, bling bling. One, one final question. What are your thoughts about some of the models now coming out into the scene with different shapes? Where, like we talk about size zero or the fuller body. What are your personal thoughts to body shape and images and how the clothes actually hang on their bodies? I want to say that's one of the also cool parts. Even though the clothes is very fitted, but now clothes, it went into, it makes everybody look good. So now size zero to a size seven, it's all good. So now, yeah, big, skinny, the clothes is scraping them to make them look very hot. And with the hair, we're doing the same thing. So now anyone can look good in the latest fashion without having to drop down to a size zero. Yeah, oh yes. It's, now it's about being unique. And that's what the, uh, the uh, designers are doing. They're taking pieces that it's one of a kind, and that way it's only made for you. And it's something that you're not going to see somewhere else because it's personal. It became, again, it's a world thing where now it's a unique. It's about the stamp of that individual. Unique fashion, Renee. Thank you for coming on the show. I'm going to let you get back to your work. We're going to catch up with you a little bit later and check out some of the models up on stage. All right, sir. Okay, so look who I've managed to uh, catch up with. Megan the Bee. Megan, I have to ask, is this uh, some kind of indication as to the fashion that we're going to see next year? Well, let's hope so, because the legs are great. Uh, they're actually painted on, aren't they? They're not, uh, they're not actual clothing. No, they're painted. <laughs> painted, so that could be a new style we're seeing for next year. Megan, what is with the Bee costume? Tell me more about that. The Bee is the mascot for Servano.com. Yeah, and they're the company behind the uh, fashion tonight. Yes, they are. So we're going to find out more about that later from one of the behind the scenes guys. Tell me a little bit more about this bee costume as well. You're, what, what are you here for with the bee costume? Um, I'm here to greet and meet people and um, anyone who wants to take a picture. Picture perfect bee. Do you know of any of the celebrities or the big names coming along tonight? I'm not allowed to say. So I guess we're going to have to stand here with you as you meet and greet them and find out who come in. Yes. <laughs> okay, well, there we have it. Straight up. Megan, I'm going to let you get back to uh, buzzing away over there. We're going to stand right here and catch up with some of the celebrities. Thank you. Thank you. Megan the Bee, sweet as honey. Okay, so I am here with the man of the hour, Victor, the president of Heartache Clothing. Victor, it's a pleasure to have you on the show on Hollywood Extra. Just tell me, how did the, um, the concept for Heartache come about? Well, I've basically been in the fashion business my whole life and uh, decided a few years back to go into the t-shirt world and uh, playing craps in Vegas, I noticed how everybody was getting really crazy with the bet, the hard eight, which is actually a long shot bet. And because of the double meaning, right then and there it hit me, I said, this has to be the name of my new t-shirt line, and uh, made it our label, and ever since then, it's been like a uh, connection to the world, and we kind of, you know, vibed with it from the beginning.